Hey guys, how's it going? Now, typically I review about five new number ones that came out this week. Well, I reviewed four, and then I got a special guest reviewing the fifth book. But this week, I only did about three books, but I still got that special guest coming in at the end reviewing the fourth book. So, let's get it started. All right, now the first book I'm going to review is a brand new image number one, Killadelphia. Now, there was a little bit of hype around this book. It was kind of like a quote-unquote hot book because of that B cover with the vampires hanging upside down. And, you know, it piqued my interest. I wanted to see what this book was out. Luckily, there, there was a, a local comic shop day that came out like a couple days before this book was released. And they had that comic shop day version. And I kind of dig the book. I thought it was pretty good. So if you don't know anything about it, it's about a, a detective, a homicide detective over in Philadelphia. And th there's, there's zombies. Pretty much. And we have to thank a former president for these zombies. And it seems a little bit weird because they're in the, like the coroner's office, like the, the morgue, and they're, they're looking at the dead bodies and they got like human teeth mark, different human teeth marks all around the body. And they're like, hmm, maybe he had yellow fever or something. I don't know. And I was like, dude, he got fucking, he got bit by zombies. Obviously. How is that not, how is that not obvious? I don't understand that. But anyway, no, the book was pretty good. The artwork was, was, was different, but it kind of fit in a, in a good kind of, way that i was digging there was some some scenes where there was like a lot of cursive and they, who it, it kind of fit because he was reading from a journal and the journal was written in cursive but it made it a little bit harder to read for me but not 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 like batman who laughs but it was it was it was pretty good and it seems like along this whole book we got this detective and he's reading a journal that was his father's journal and it kind of has to do with everything that's actually taking place and then at the end of the book, we actually see this guy and he's freaking digging in the ground. And who does he, he digs up his, his father's grave, which is like, that's kind of crazy to think about it, digging up a parent's grave. And then he opens the coffin and then boom, his dad's like alive, like a vampire. So I'm like, all right, you know, like I, I didn't, as I was reading this, I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up issue number two, but that ending kind of just like took a left turn and I, I'm curious enough to see what the hell is gonna happen so I'll be picking up a second issue and I'll probably review that and see if I'll keep it on my pull list or not if you did enjoy this book or if you did not like it make sure to leave it in the comments down below because I want to I want to hear what other people what are other people's opinions on it all right, this next book is coming out of IDW Star Trek Picard. Now, just as a disclaimer, I've never watched Star Trek. I do know the whole live long and prosper thing, but I'm more familiar with Star Wars than I am Star Trek. So I'm like, you know what? I want to I want to dive into this world and see if maybe this is something I might enjoy. And to give you that answer, yes, I did enjoy this. And I was surprised that I did. All right, so the book starts off. We got these two characters who I don't know who they are, but they're on a planet and they're looking at grapes in kind of like a wine yard a wine yard a vineyard if you would and then and then the next page it just cuts over and then you're like instantly looking at like one year prior to that so i'm like all right they're gonna do a, a whole full circle thing to kind of like this is what's happening now and then we're gonna see a full circle and i kind of i like those types of stories it's almost like a good comedian where they tell a joke and then like five minutes later they tie the end of the joke into the beginning perfect but anyway we see the captain who is the cover uh, i'm not i'm not too familiar with the character but he's bald and and he's going back and forth anyway this guy is pretty much going around in his spaceship with you know everybody <laughs> oh man i'm sorry if you're a star trek fan i'm butchering this he's in the spaceship and he's flying around in a, in a like a galaxy because there's gonna be a supernova so like i think if i remember correctly a supernova is when the sun implodes and like blows up a supernova is a powerful and luminous stellar explosion. This transient astronomical event occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star, or when a white dwarf is triggered into runaway nuclear fusion. So he's going around to all the local planets that are in that blast radius, and he's trying to evacuate them. And man, there's actually like a really cool splash page with that sh that ship in space, and I'm like, man, artwork's pretty cool, I like that. And then they, they get like orders to go to a planet that they thought was abandoned, but really it wasn't abandoned, it was kind of like almost kept secret. So they approach the planet and they ask to, to board the planet, but they only have like the two, the, the, the captain and the co-captain get like instant transformation they teleport they teleport those people to the planet which is which is kind of cool i guess that's like a star trek thing where they teleport people from spaceships to planets and then they get like escorted by escorted by like guards with guns there's like no welcoming so it's kind of like already like off to a cold start and then they go down and they see like a wine yard and they're in the wine yard and they're they realize that hey these people aren't the same people as that are in the houses like that like that that are running the show like the government and then these are like all slaves like the indigenous people are slaves and they're like hey you're gonna rescue us they could stay here and die they're less than and i'm just like holy shit this is crazy and then the captain the ball guy is like look man my orders aren't to evacuate you my orders are to evacuate every advanced life form and and their advanced life form whether you think they're you're better than them or not they're still 
they're not human, but there are people, there are advanced life forms they deserve. And then they're like, all right, look, if you're not going to play ball, we're going to throw you in jail. And they threw him in jail. What? Like, how are you going to get out of this one? Because, you know, like the whole the, the whole story, there was this thing that, that we have um, an unseen clock that's ticking, and which is a supernova because we know it's going to blow up. We just don't know when. We know we have about a year, but maybe not almost. It's kind of like up in the air. And so, like, the whole thing is like, oh, man, this clock is ticking. And now he's in jail, like even less. And, and not to mention, they were supposed to go and evacuate 10,000 people. And now they had to evacuate millions of people. That's just crazy, man. And I'm digging this Star Trek. Are you, are you Trekkies out there? One of us. One of us. All right, my next book and the final book I'm going to be reviewing before we get to my guests. This was probably, that Star Trek book was going to take the pick of the week for me. But this this book right here, this Space Riders coming out of Black Mask is freaking awesome, dude. So I've seen the cover and I was like, all right, this cover looks freaking awesome. Like, I'm always a fan of black and then like a splash of like some bright color because it really pops on those black backgrounds. And then I opened up to this first page and I was just like, holy crap. This is freaking cool. Like this guy's riding a motorcycle that's a freaking cobra and there's like all these beautiful bright colors everywhere and I'm like what the heck is going on? And it looks like they're all approaching a bar and there's a guy inside of the bar and he's like, "All right, I'm coming for you, pendejos." I'm like, "Oh shit, they got me with the pendejo. They they locked me in. This is my book right now." And this guy comes out, he's got like a robotic arm and a hood and he just killing everybody he's cussing a, st a storm up and i'm like oh man i'm digging this and what i really like about this is if you notice on the panels in the background the background is like either completely yellow or completely pink like they just like throw a solid cover over the background i'm like that's so freaking cool and then there's one guy he's like asking for mercy he's like please please don't i made a mistake and he's just like fuck you and just cuts him in half and i'm like oh man this is crazy and then after he's done killing these guys he gets like a phone call or like um uh, a telekinesis thing or like he sees a vision of a guy and the guy is like hey i'm trying to stop this woman from like coming to this universe and this woman is like a witch and this witch had like a following of people and she sacrificed all the people so she could open a, a portal to hell and then she opened a portal to hell and then satan came out and then she chopped off satan's head and drank his blood and she became like a god and then she's trying to get all these universes together and then and then something happened with uh, she tried to like make all these other gods and then there was like a giant boy that it was just it's a crazy book man it's freaking crazy and yeah man that guy who stopped her is a freaking baboon and then on the last page the last page is one of the coolest pages you see him riding away in his like his snake freaking the cobra snake motorcycle and then the baboon is just like meditating in like a a, a triangle and flying through the cosmos what a crazy ass book man if you haven't read this i recommend you go pick this book up all right and then the last book that i read I'm actually going to let my special guest review because I was digging it, man. I was digging it. And let's see what he's got to say. Hey, guys. Geeky Guy Comics here. Now, one of the comic books that I've read so far is John Constantine's Hellblazer 1. So this is uh, a new uh, comic from the Sandman universe. It's another DC Black Label. It follows on from a special uh, one-shot edition that was released in October, which was the Sandman universe presents Hellblazer 1. Um, this is a much darker side of John Constantine that we haven't seen in recent years. It's dark, it's gritty, it's quite disturbing, obviously because it's DC Black Label, it touches on some taboo subjects, there's some swearing in it. It focuses uh, around a gang called the Reboys, they're based in Peckham, Rye, London, where uh, roundabouts where I'm from, so if you're watching this from the United States, it's one of the, uh, it's, a, it's a common area in London, Peckham, Rye, and this features this focuses around the Reboys. Uh, they're a gang that seem to be selling drugs and giving out drugs to the to the local people in the park. Um, and it all seems to kick off when one of the local drop offs, uh, drug drop offs, uh, goes wrong and they're attacked by what uh, what these um, so called angels uh, are, are doing. They're attacking the gangs and they're kind of seeking out and taking all the evil from this park. Um, so the gang's called the Angels, and this, the title of this comic is called Green and Pleasant Land 1, which I guess means Peck and Rye, where it focuses around. Uh, the gang are called the Reboys, um, and their main leader is the Haruspec. So he's the Haruspec. Uh, he kind of has foreseen these things happening, and he's reached out to John Constantine, because obviously John Constantine is the, is the art of dark magic, and they're having trouble doing their drug dealings and getting everything sorted because the angels are killing everyone and everyone around them. So they've called in John Constantine to try and sort this problem out. Um, it's a great comic. It's a dark and disturbing comic. If you're familiar with Aaron Campbell's work and Simon Spurrier's work, you'll love this. For me, 
It was the first time I've read anything by Simon Spurrier, and I'm definitely intrigued to see how it carries on. Pretty cool review, man. I appreciate you jumping on with me, and hey, man, I'm digging those Funko Pops you got up there. All right, and that's it. Those are all my brand new comic book number one reviews. If you don't know, these are actually, I should probably say this in the beginning, I only review number one issues, so that way you can see the review and be like, you know what? That's a cool book. Let me check that one out. You know, because if I start reviewing like issue seven of a book you never heard of, why are you going to watch the video if you haven't read the first six? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and thank you guys. I just had a thousand subscribers which is pretty damn cool man make sure if you guys enjoy this hit that like button smash subscribe because you know I'm, I'm still growing man hit that bell notification because i'm always going live and i'll see you in the next one peace